conductors, insulators and semiconductors. Materials are classified into conductors, insulators and semiconductors based on their ability to conduct electricity. Materials that allow electric charges to flow through them are known as electrical conductors. Metals like silver and copper, graphite, solutions of acids, bases and salts, ionized gases, etc., which conduct electricity, are examples of conductors. Materials that do not allow electric charges to flow through them are known as non-conductors or electrical insulators. Rubber, glass, most plastics, dry wood, diamond, etc. are examples of good insulators. Materials whose conductivity is less than that of the conductors and greater than that of the insulators are known as semiconductors. Silicon and germanium are examples of semiconductors. Have you ever wondered why diamond and graphite, the two different forms of carbon, behave differently? Diamond and graphite behave differently due to the difference in the arrangement of atoms in their solid structure. In the structures shown here, observe that in diamond, each carbon atom is bound to four other carbon atoms. All the four valence electrons are used in bond formation. Therefore, diamond is an insulator of electricity. In graphite, each carbon atom is bound to only three other carbon atoms. Due to this, one valence electron is unused in bond formation. This free electron is available for conduction. In conductors, the electrons in the outermost orbit are very weakly bound to the atom and can be freed very easily. Such electrons are called free electrons. These free electrons can easily flow when there is an electrical force. The semiconductors like germanium and silicon can be made to conduct electricity by adding impurities like beryllium and boron.